Hello everyone, this is another Black Conservative. I am Ryan Bowling. Thank you all for joining me. What I want to talk about in this video is an article I read that stated right up front that California within the last year has released thousands of convicted pedophiles. You heard that right. California has released thousands of convicted pedophiles within the last year. Now, within the article, it talks about the UK Daily Mail doing an investigative investigation into this, and they have come up with the answer, or rather the results, that California has released thousands of convicted pedophiles within the last year in the state of California. Now, that is atrocious. Let's get into this article right now. That's beyond reasoning, you would think. But let's get into this. California has released thousands of convicted pedophiles after spending only a few months in prison. Such pedophiles have been convicted of, quote, a range of horrific acts, including raping kids under 14, according to the study investigation conducted by the UK Daily Mail. More than 7,000 per persons con convicted of, quote, lewd or lascivious acts with a child under 14 years of age have been released in the same year they were convicted. Convicts who committed even more heinous crimes, such as sodomy and rape of children, also served short sentences. Now, you please, before I go any further, try to justify this. Try to justify this in any way you can. It's hard to justify this, isn't it? It's really hard to find reasoning behind this. But I'm going to give you what I think after I've read this article. I'm going to give you my opinion on this. Thousands of child victims are being denied justice and George Gaston and his group of radical prosecutors can care less. Los Angeles Deputy District Attorney Jonathan Hadamaya, Hadamai, who serves in the Complex Child Abuse Unit and whose outspokenness about D.A. Gaskin contributed to a recall effort told, told, told the Daily Mail. A recall effort, right? I'm wondering if they don't get recall. <laughs> never happens. Or it never seems to happen. The article goes on to say, some short sentences include 365 pedophiles convicted of a continuous sexual abuse of continuous sexual abuse of a child, all of whom spent fewer than 12 months in prison. 39 cases were convictions for sodomy with a child under the age of 16, while there were three cases of kidnapping a child under the age of 14, quote, with intent to commit lewd or lascivious acts. Wow. Former Los Angeles sex crimes prosecutor Samuel, Samuel Dorladinian told the outlet that the statistic was, quote, frightening for society, adding that, quote, statistics clearly show that pedophiles don't get reformed. They're going to come out and they're going to commit. They're going to commit again. According to the data from the Megan's Law database, one pedophile convicted of, quote, continuous sexual abuse of a child spent only two days in a county jail before being released on a five year probation. I know this is some heavy stuff here, but like I said, I'm going to give you an opinion of why I personally believe that this type of stuff is going on. As the Daily Mail points out, he now lives one block from a daycare and three blocks from an elementary school. According to further analysis of the data of the 54,986 sex offenders in the database, 76% are pedophiles. On average, each pedophile served just two years and 10 months in prison. Dordelian explained that California governor, and I knew he was coming up, California governor Gavin Newsom is in part responsible for such lenient sentencing and treatment as he attempts to artificially reduce the state's prison population. That has been the push for the past, for the last at least five years, letting people out of prison much earlier than what their sentences were for, he told the Daily Mail. But these type of individuals, they're not amenable to rehabilitation, and studies have shown that they're going to harm another child. 
Indeed, Department of Justice statistics show convicted sex offenders are four times more likely than other criminals to be rearrested for a sex crime. The outlet notes that persons in the database who committed heinous sex crimes receive, quote, similarly short sentences to those convicted of crimes like indecent exposure. And that's the end of that article right there. What a mouthful right there. Uh, and in fact, it took some time to read it, but I wanted you guys to know the I wanted to read all of that article because I wanted you to get all the information and try to digest the justification for that in your own mind. Now, here's what I here's what I want to start off right up front. Number one, I don't hate anyone. I don't hate transgenders. I don't hate gays. I don't hate lesbians. I don't hate the LGBTQ, whatever. And then want to fall in that category. I don't hate pedophiles. I don't hate Democrats. I don't hate any of these people. And sometimes I get extremely angry at what they do, but I'm angry at what they do and the crazy things they say. I'm not, I don't hate them. Okay. I believe that God empowers me to love all people. He gives me the power and the ability to love all. And I believe as a born again Christian, <coughs> excuse me, as a born again Christian, that Jesus died for the sins of all of us. And that if we confess that we are sinners and we accept his offer of salvation, that Jesus Christ will, God will save us through Jesus Christ. I believe that that's what I embrace. And I embrace the love of God and I, embrace, and I love all. But looking at this situation here, this had angered me to an extent that I never been angered before. But knowing what I know, it makes perfectly good sense. And this is what I mean. A lot of this depends on your worldview. Now, you may be asking, what do I mean by that? I said this before and I'll say it again in this video. Radical liberals and liberals per se, but radical liberals, okay, believe that people like pedophiles and criminals and people that do these evil things or what we consider to be evil, are victims of an oppressive society. People like ped pedophiles, the radical left, the radical Marxist communist left see these individuals as oppressed by people who believe in strong moral values, who believe that fornication is wrong, sex before marriage is wrong, adultery is wrong. They believe that that's suppressing what's really within you and that you should allow your human desires to be manifest. This is what they literally believe. And that to, to suppress that is actually to oppress that individual. So they believe this applies to pedophiles. And as a result, they give them shorter sentences because they feel sorry for them. They feel that they're victims. So they get them shorter sentences. Another thing, give them shorter sentences, jail sentences. Another thing is, is that with this person, with these people having this worldview, another aspect, aspect that I wanted to deal with is their positioning. Your worldview matters and your positioning matters. And what I mean by that is the people that believe this, these radical leftist Marxist people that embrace this idea and worldview towards pedophiles. These people are in positions of authority where they can make these kind of decisions that will have an effect, a detrimental effect on everyone else. Because they feel sorry for pedophiles and feel sorry for criminals because they believe that they're a part of an oppressive society and they're trying to internally fight back. Okay. That these radical leftists do not see that. They don't see that. They're not going to acknowledge that these people are harming the vast majority of people in society. They are in positions of authority. Well, they can make decisions that will have a negative effect on people like you and me. So your worldview, so I want to do it. Your worldview matters and your position matters. And that's why California has these kind of situations, because as that individual said in the article. The radical DA's district attorney could care less about you. 
could care less about the victims. They don't see the victims as victims. They see the pedophiles as victims. Now you may say that's sick. It is sick, but that's how they see things. Now, here's another thing I said this earlier. I said I feel sorry for people in California. And part of the reason why I feel sorry for some of the people in California is because it seems to me, it seems to me that a significant number of people in that state have been brainwashed and conditioned to accept these far left radical worldviews to the point where when they see things like this and they hear about things like this, like pedophiles, hundreds or thousands of pedophiles, according to that article, if this is accurate, when they see things like thousands of pedophiles being released out of prison within a year and given short sentences and being released out of prison within a year, they don't do anything about it. They just go to sleep and go on about their business. They don't say nothing. They don't vote these people out. They don't do a recall. They don't do anything like that. They let these DAs, these district attorneys, these mayors, these governors stay in positions of power and authority. Because I personally believe they've been rocked to sleep. They've been brainwashed. They've been conditioned. They don't know their left hand from their right hand. And I feel sorry for them, really. I don't even get, I try not to even get angry. Because if I, for me to get angry, it's not going to do anything with me. All it's going to do is frustrate me and make me want to choke somebody to death. And I don't want to do that. So why get angry with it? I feel they believe, they deceived they're deceived, the politicians are deceived, the radical, radical leftist politicians are deceived, and the people that vote for them are deceived the way I see it. But this is this is but this is a sham and this is a shame. And I pray that people in California will wake up and smell the coffee, smell the tea, smell the crumpets, smell the Coca-Cola, smell everything. That they will wake up and see that this is horrible. And you need to do something about it. And I believe that the power and authority to make changes in our society still is there with our voting power. But I feel that we got to wake up, man. The people in California got to wake up and see this type of stuff that is morally wrong and that you are going to be the ones getting hurt. Your child is going to be the ones getting hurt. Your kin folks are going to be the ones getting hurt because you've been so conditioned to accept this worldview that it seems like it's nothing to you. It seems like it's nothing to you until it taps on your, it starts knocking on your door. It seems like it's nothing to you until they start grabbing your child. Then it's a big deal. Well, didn't you see that before when you voted this person in office? Didn't you see that when you voted for these DAs in office? When you when you voted for these these uh, governors and voted for these mayors, these far leftist radical mayors, and they appointed these individual DAs, the district attorneys, in positions of authority, and said we're going to give pedophiles a slap on the wrist because they're victims of an oppressed society that says you need to hold your sexual desires down. You voted for them. You supported them. What do you expect? That's what I want to say about what do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel. God bless you all and see you again.